Hey guys, so it's Sugar April. Today's video, of course, is going to be another lace front wig. This one is by a company called Jackson Wig. They did send it to me in this cute little pink box. It's the 22 inch lace front and it is 130% density. So the color of the lace is light brown Swiss. It does have the normal combs in the unit. There's three in the front. I never use the one in the middle and there also is in a comb and adjustable strap in the nape. Now this honeys was all the hair that I did pre-tweeze from that hairline. Even though it's a natural hairline, you do want to make it look as natural as possible. So that's why I'm about to cut some of these ear tabs off because normally what I do is just tuck it behind. But for the sake of this, I want it to look as natural as possible. So we're going to brush away those little tiny hairs just to get everything out the way. Get ourselves our rat tail comb and I'm just going to position this right above my ear and make sure that it's snug, it fits properly, and I'm going to use my clip and I'm just going to cut away. Now first of all, be very careful when you're cutting above your ear because you really don't want to cut yourself. So once I went ahead and cut that little piece of hair off, I'm going to go on to the opposite side and do the same. You want to make sure that it's right above the ear and it's fitting properly and comfortably above your ear. Sometimes these lace fronts or full lace wigs can be a little bit too big, so we do want to customize them as I'm doing right here, which I'm going to just go ahead and cut away that excess lace. Normally I don't do this, I just cut it off of myself, you know, while I'm not wearing it, but for the sake of this video, some people do like to use the lace wig and their self as a guide, so that is what I'm going to do right here. Now as I stated, I did pre-tweeze some of this hairline. It is a natural hairline, but I wanted to make it look a little bit thinner in the front. And also, I did want to make sure that my wig cap matched, so I did change it. I do have some makeup on it already. Not really sure which one I'm going to use, but prior to that, I'm just going to beat my face a little bit, you know what I'm saying, before I beat that wig cap. So it does look a little bit tanner on me, but trust me, honeys, once I do the wig and I put it all together, it will look a lot better. Opposed to me using like something that's really, really light, I'd rather use something that is more closer to my skin tone. I'm also going to go ahead and do that in the inside of the wig just because I did not bleach any knots. But I did bleach them way after the video and either way it did still look good. Now just to keep my wig cap in place, you guys know I do love Pump It Up hairspray. Along with that I do love Aussie but lately I have went back to my Pump It Up depending on the project and what I'm doing. And just to make sure that it dries in place, I'm just going to use my blow dryer on cool and just, you know, blow dry down that wig cap. Now it's time to get this wig ready you guys. I've already went ahead and cut the excess lace and I've also trimmed a little bit extra and I'm just going to brush those hairs back just because I don't want them in the way. This is not for styling, this is just for keeping them hairs out of the way, okay? Now this part you probably really don't see but I do have some powder foundation on this little tiny brush and I'm just using that as a guide as where I want to put my got to be gel. Yes, honeys, I'm about to use the Got To Be Gel again. I'm not like a huge fan of it, but this time I'm gonna use the clear one. And it's just because I really don't want to keep it on for too long, just for like the day or two. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just take a makeup brush that I really don't use. And I'm gonna just spread that on my hairline or not even my hairline, but you know, underneath my hairline, below it. And I'm just gonna do two layers of that, you know. I'm just gonna blow dry it until it gets more or less like a tacky situation or tacky solution. And you wanna make sure that your blow dryer is on cool, unless you really wanna burn yourself, but I really prefer it to be on cool. So now that I've been touching it, I do feel that it's a little bit tacky here, which is perfect for the wig, just to adhere itself. And I'm just gonna take my time and pull this down because you really don't want any of your baby hairs or any type of hairs just get into your glue, your tape, or your gel because it just makes the process a little bit more time consuming. And as you guys see, the hairline is thinned out, which is great. You know, I'm just gonna take my fingers as well as my rat tail cone and just press down into that lace that is gonna be into the got to be gel. This wig is actually really nice. Um, I didn't really have to do much but just pre-tweeze the hairline on it. It is 130% density. To some, it may not be a lot. Normally, I like to wear like 180, but for the most part, the wig is really, really nice. Um, the quality is great. I did wear it for a few days. And um, for the hairline, this is the second time that I did a hairline or pre-tweeze. Like, listen, I have scalped it and balled it. Plenty of wigs, as I told you guys. 
So for this go around, I was really trying to make sure it looked good. So that's why you don't see me right now. I'm going to cut some of these baby hairs. But before that, I'm just going to make sure that I don't have too many baby hairs because, listen, too many is too many. And sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you just got to get them right. I'm not like the hugest fan of baby hairs, meaning me and baby hairs, we don't rock too well. She gives me a problem when it's time to style her. You know, sometimes it takes me like 20 minutes to do some baby hairs. So me and baby hairs, we are not like the best of friends. So a lot of times I try to do it off camera. Um, as I was saying, sometimes I do um, the baby hairs off camera. And, you know, it takes um, a few minutes for me. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It is what it is. But I'm going to make my part on this particular side, which is the right side. And normally I do on the left, but for this video, I wanted to do it on the right, you know, switch it up a little bit. I'm going to use some of this Lotta Body Wrap Lotion just so that way I can get my part down and on fleek. And I'm just press the part down and I'm gonna just take my curling wand, the biggest barrel, and I'm gonna use it as if it was a pressing hot comb. I will be getting me one of those because listen, it makes the job a lot easier. But this irresistible me curling wand system works just as well. It's just like you know, eight in one. I could do more things with this opposed to just with a pressing iron. So I'm just gonna press out those sides, you know, how they say, melt that lace down. And that's what I'm doing right here. And it does actually work with the cur um, curling barrel. You just need to make sure that you don't burn yourself. As you guys seen on the top, it always seems like I'm always like, I could feel the heat the most on the top of my head. So you wanna make sure that you're just being extra careful. The heat is on 450 degrees on the barrel. And just to kind of like dull down that bronzy look or reddish tone in my wig cap, I'm just gonna use some of my pressed powder just to make it look a little bit more natural. This wig is actually gorgeous. The wig curls super easy. I ended up wearing it for three days straight, which was great. The sides always lift when you're doing a wig, but for the most part, hey, it is what it is. I like the unit. It's not as full and dense as I would like it, meaning it's not a lot of hair, but it does look a lot more natural than most. So if you guys are looking for a natural wig, then I would highly suggest checking out jacksonwigs.com. They got some fast shipping, but the quality is really impeccable. The prices are affordable. As you guys see, I am just going to swoop behind my ears. You know what I'm saying? Brush it out some. I think it looks really, really cute. Had a little visitor who wanted to come through and give me something to eat and some lovin's. I hope you enjoyed the video as well as that. Make sure you check out jacksonwigs.com to finish off the style. Of course, I did use some of my favorite, which is the Pump It Up hairspray. This is the Super Hold. I've told you guys before, I have actually tacked down my wigs using the Pump It Up hairspray, you know, especially if I only want to wear for the day or for like, you know, eight or 10 hours. It works great, but you could definitely sleep in your wig with the Pump It Up hairspray. So this is the final and finished look, hunties. I'm feeling myself like, look, I'm saying did i hook up that hairline or what like yes honey you know it wouldn't be a video without one of my little side swept swoopy dupes right here just to show you guys how good them edges and sides look i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up share with all of your social media friends all of the links and the information will be down below for you girls so that way you can check out jacksonwigs.com they are on instagram so i love you and i'll see you guys in a soon to come video bye